What is up all you odd people? We got our first impressions of Evil Dead the game last time with Warlord and today we're trying out the Necromancer. I have slightly more experience than the last time, however I am still very new. I've also been avoiding watching others play until I finish trying things for the first time. I'm not really sure what the difference is between Warlord and Necromancer, but we're gonna find out. Let's go torment some college kids. Alright, well Evil Ash is looking pretty badass, especially in comparison to Henrietta, who was just looking kinda gross. But that's Henrietta, she's gonna do her. If you guys didn't see our last video with the Warlord, that was our first game ever that we had played. This is our second game and it's taking place pretty much directly after that game. So we know a little bit more than we knew in that game, but we still don't know a ton. And even speaking to you now, I still don't really know a ton. I'm trying to avoid watching too much because I, I, I'm enjoying just kind of learning as I go. So we are going to run around and set a few traps so we can get our level up, but I think we're going to focus on specking into basic portals this time. Uh, since we can already kind of set traps without specking into them, I don't know, it just seems to make sense. Again, I, don't, I may not know what I'm talking about, so don't take anything I'm saying to heart. But yeah, that seems to make sense. However, it seems like we need two points, or at least to level up a little bit more before we can buy those basic portals, which I thought was a little bit strange. But we can get them now, along with our possession. I'm not sure why I took some time in between there. And we're gonna get some more energy, gonna level up a little bit more. Now we do get a notification here that somebody's making noise, which, you know, definitely unacceptable behavior. So we're gonna head on over there, and they honestly kind of fall right on top of us. We don't really see them coming. But you know, if you want to fall from the heavens as a survivor, that's cool with me. And we're kind of looking for a place to set our basic units. We finally pick a spot and possess it, and we're going in. I'm feeling pretty confident. And honestly, I really like these units. I like these units more than I liked Warlord's units. I think the spears are pretty uh, strong, better than the little hand axes. And uh, the shields look pretty good, too. I'm also discovering that the units have their own little abilities. I, I don't think I really fully realize that in the beginning at least of the warlord match and these guys abilities seem to be some kind of slam and some kind of like rush forward spear attack which seem pretty good honestly and we are gonna definitely spend money on elites this time because last time we didn't get elites and you know it was just a little upsetting that i couldn't spawn them I, and i still haven't used an elite yet so hopefully this will be the first game that we use one in and i'm assuming they're just gonna be amazing we don't really know though, and I really want to get these guys fear level ups, and I find this tree. I love these trees, by the way. These trees are great. They just kind of whack people, scare the crap out of them, so you know, that's pretty cool. We also land our dash, which is rare for us, so I'm pretty proud of that, but it's still not quite enough. So we're going to go ahead and possess the tree and swipe at them, and we do manage to get their fear level all the way up. Unfortunately, it goes down before we really even get a chance to... To possess anybody so i'm a little upset by that we ran out of energy so we're gonna go get some more of that we're gonna set some more traps so we can level up a little bit more so we're just kind of ignoring them for now you know letting them do survivor things which i still don't really know what survivor things are because i haven't really played i played the uh, tutorial like i said and then i've also played the i think one mission so i th that's that is the extent of my survivor knowledge at the moment and i do believe that playing survivor is most likely going to help me understand a little bit better what I'm doing on the killer side of things. But we're definitely going to get to that. I do want to play Puppeteer in my next video. And so maybe after that, we'll play a Survivor. And so we're back in our scare tree. We're being scary. We're swiping at things. And we do finally have one sphere level high enough to possess, but I'm going to spawn our new elite friend instead and give that a try. And again, I'm hoping he's amazing. And honestly, these these first few hits, man, it's, it's looking promising, right? Like... He kind of whoops on him, but that's about the extent of it. He, he doesn't really get much further than that, so that was a little bit disappointing. But he's not fully leveled up yet, so he might be better then. So we grab a, a survivor instead. And my god, this is embarrassing. I miss, like, I'm not good at shooting yet. I'm definitely getting some practice in as, uh, as the demon, so hopefully when I play survivor I won't be super terrible. But yeah, that was pretty terrible. And also, I don't really know, again, what they excel at and what they don't excel at. I'm, I'm starting to get a feel for it, but I, I can't tell if I'm supposed to be meleeing people or shooting people. We're figuring it out. But I am, I'm, I am leveling up my units, 
And I'm hoping that we can get some good damage in with this possession. But again, man, look, just, just look how bad I am at shooting. Like, I don't know what is happening, if I'm having a seizure or something, but it's, it's just not going well. Now, one of the things I've noticed now that I didn't know back then is the rate that I'm gaining energy right now. I think it's because we're within this active objective, but I don't know that for sure. Um, anyway, I, I, it was really kind of throwing me off, and I think I spent a little too much time looking for more little energy balls and trying to manage my energy far more than I probably should have because I just didn't realize it was going up so fast. Again, these are things we know now, but for some reason we just didn't really... It didn't click back then. I cannot believe we missed that dash, by the way. I'm really bad at the dash. I thought I'd get better at the dash, and so far that has not been the case. But hopefully in the future, right? Because, I, again, the dash will get you some energy. It gets a lot of fear. It's a, it's a great thing if you land it, and I just don't land it very often. Hopefully we're going to get better. All right, so we are wailing on these people. I like the basic units a little bit more than the elites. I'm not going to lie. I'm hoping the boss is just as powerful as the last boss because I am not doing well. These guys are actually doing objectives. They're doing them very quickly. And this is the first time I have ever gotten exercise from an area. So now they just have to do the Kandarian Dagger, I think it's called. I don't really know why they hang out in this building, but we're going to try to trap them in this building and hopefully do a little bit of damage. Again, so far, we're not doing great. They're, they're taking us out pretty quick. They seem to be a lot more efficient than the last group we played against. And I cannot land my dash to save my life, which is not helping. But we do spawn some basic units uh, since we didn't get the dash, so we don't really get to possess anybody, which is a little bit sad. And we are just going to kind of go off and try to intercept them as they're going through the forest. We're going to spawn a few more and then grab some more energy. Really, we're just trying to slow them down at this point. I'm not going to lie, I'm panicking a little bit because they're moving very quickly and I seem to be incredibly weak. I'm really hoping that the boss is just as strong as Henrietta because I think I'm going to need to be bailed out here again. And I bailed out quite a bit more than I was the last time since they're already, they're already further than the last group. I don't think the last group ever finished the Lost Pages or the Dagger which is where they're headed now. So we are going to try to get straight to the dagger area and start setting up some sort of defense, right? Because we, we really do want to stop them. Um, or at least slow them down a little bit so we have a little more time to level up. And of course we level up by doing damage, setting traps. So we're getting in there, we're doing some damage. We're trying to, we're trying to stop them as much as we can. And they honestly haven't even started yet, which is pretty nice. Um, again, I wish I knew about my Q at the time. I probably would have done a little bit better, but what can you do? And I also haven't leveled up any of the characters yet. I haven't leveled up any of the demons. I haven't leveled up any of the survivors. So I'm probably outclassed in that area for sure. I'm just not 100% sure how much it matters. I'm pretty sure it matters a lot based on the little bit I've looked into it. So we'll, 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 we'll just have to accept that we're not going to be as strong as the people that have leveled stuff up. God, I love these trees. And the trees do manage to push them over the fear edge, so we're gonna go ahead and grab him. Now, I, I was mistaking this guy for a hunter character instead of a warrior character, so I actually spend a lot of time trying to use his gun. And I just never learned. I don't think I figured it out until after the match that that was not the character I thought it was. And instead, it was Scotty. I think I thought his name. I think his name is Ed. I think that's who I thought it was. So I spent a lot of time trying to use his gun, and I really shouldn't have. I really should have just used his melee weapon. We did use our tree friend right there, but I'm pretty sure we missed entirely. I don't think the tree did anything, and I'm starting to realize that the tree has a cooldown. I I guess I should have known that because it seems obvious, but I didn't know that. So I jumped right back in the tree and tried to use it. Didn't really work out. We are going to possess our not-Ed friend again, and again, we're going to try to use his pistol, which is definitely not correct. But we think we're doing good. at the Like, right now, we're like, ah, oh, yeah, we got some shots in. Why didn't it do any damage? Oh, well, it's probably me. No, yeah, it's definitely you. It's definitely you, buddy. We do have a lot of levels that we could be spending, and I don't know why it takes us so long to spend them, but we finally do. Still don't quite have enough to do boss stuff yet, but we are getting really close. And our basics and elites are getting a little bit stronger. I do hope the elites get a little bit better as we go on. 
but given that the issue seems to be they're just really, really slow, I'm not 100% sure it's ever going to get better. I think those few hits from the first elite possession are as good as it's going to get. I really like these basics, though. I like their moveset. I like that they seem to do a lot better than the Warlord's little basic units. Yeah, the skeleton basics are pretty badass. And I'm not really second-guessing my decision not to level traps either. It seems to be working out fairly better, fa fairly well. Now, these guys are doing better than the last guys, but I think that's just because they are better than the last guys. I don't necessarily think it's because I leveled traps with the last guys and not with these guys. I'm pretty sure there's just a fairly decent size skill gap between the two groups. All right, so we did get exercised again. We're going to head straight over to the Dark Ones. Because we're, we're setting up traps, we're getting energy, we're getting ready, because this is definitely where they're going to head to. This is the site of their last two objectives. Once they get past the Dark Ones, then they have to protect the Necronomicon, and we either have to destroy the Necronomicon, or kill them. Or to keep them from getting past the Dark Ones, ideally. But we don't do that, I'm pretty sure. We are going to immediately start spawning in units, though, and we're going to try to stop these guys from doing any significant progress over here, or from getting any significant progress, excuse me. And this is probably going to be the site of the last showdown. I don't imagine they're going to end up running away from me, considering I don't do a lot. I, I try to do a lot, but I don't really do a lot. Now, we do manage to get Scotty pretty low here. I think we do take him out. But I, what is that? Is that my first down this entire match? This might be my first down this entire match. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm having a little bit of trouble remembering, but I'm pretty sure that was the first down, which is a little sad considering how far they've gotten. But we do see a target that we can possess, so we go ahead and grab her. And again, man, come on. Now, I think that one would have been a hit, except they were in iframes, but still, like how many shots am I gonna miss? How many? Now, we do get a couple in while she's hiding, like, around this tree. But what the heck was that? Anyway. But, yeah, we just don't... Man, we did not have a successful possession basically at all this match. At least not a successful survivor possession. We have a little bit of stutter framing there, which is frustrating. But what can you do? I'm sure they'll work the kinks out eventually. Luckily, their Scotty friend did die. That is basically the end of him, unless they somehow revive him, which I don't think they're really going to be able to do, given their position right now. I guess they could just full retreat right now, and maybe they'd get away with it. I'm not really sure. But we spend a lot of time getting energy, because we don't realize that we're getting a nice amount of energy just from being within uh, the zone of this, uh, of this objective. But we do get to spawn in our boss unit, finally. And again, I'm really, really hoping that this boss unit's gonna bail me out. I'm not 100% sure what my abilities are doing at the time I'm using them, but we did summon in some zombies with our three ability, and we did put in our uh, reviving zombie aura with our two ability, no, four? I think it's our four ability. Anyway, we're still le learning. We didn't actually know that that's what we were doing at the time, but I figured I'd point it out now, since that's why there's so many skeletons running around. And so far, it's going good. We've killed one person. We have one person bleeding out. And now we just have to stop these two. Now, I don't know why this individual just stood here like I wasn't going to just whack on them because they weren't moving. But they did. And our units are stepping in to help us. We actually do really well here. I like Evil Ash. I like Evil Ash a little bit more than I like Henrietta. If only because I don't have to stare at a rotting ass. I, I can't emphasize how much that's a positive for me. Maybe if she had a little sensor thing floating around their backside, which would be kind of funny. Now, we do lose Evil Ash here, which is a little unfortunate. But we've gotten three of them down. And there's only one left to do the objective, so I'm feeling fairly confident. A lot more confident than I was feeling a little while ago. So we take control of another basic unit, and we try to run her down. But man, she avoids me for an unreasonably long amount of time. I'm sure a decent amount of this is just that I'm new, and the controls feel clunky to me because I'm not used to them. But my god, she manages to avoid us for a while. Long enough, actually, to finish the Dark Ones, which was uh, a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. I was actually starting to panic a little bit that she might be able to do this all by herself. And maybe, honestly, in the future, when people are playing a little bit better, that might be a thing. I'm not 100% certain that that's a thing now. I've heard a few rumors that Hunters are fairly unstoppable when played right. But uh, honestly, I don't even know what class she is, so I can't say for sure that that's what's happening here. It's, it's 
far more likely that I'm just playing poorly. But we are trying really hard to stop her, and I gotta be honest, these skeletons are feeling a little bit lazy. It feels like they're just kind of standing around, not doing a whole lot, because there are a lot of skeletons, and you would think that, you know, just swarm her and that would be the end, but it doesn't happen. She does manage to finish the Dark Ones, and now all she's got to do is protect the Necronomicon, but I don't think she's going to be able to do that. Now, we could turn around and just destroy the Necronomicon, and I doubt she'd be able to stop us, but I really want to take her out instead, and I'm pretty sure while playing this that if I kill her, it's over anyway. You are not getting in that car. There is no way that's happening. Anyway, I'm pretty sure if we take her down that the game ends regardless of whether or not we destroy the Necronomicon, so that's definitely what we're going for, and we do seem to have enough time to do it. However, I didn't pay attention to my energy, and we lose our possession, so I'm panicking a little bit now thinking maybe she's going to get away from me, even though I have the boss spawn, the elite spawn, the basic spawn, and possessions that I can do. And after all that, a basic unit takes her out before I even get there. And that's going to be it for our first game as the Necromancer. Stay tuned for the Puppeteer. I hope you're enjoying watching me stumble through these demon matches. Leave a like to help this video reach more eye holes, and don't forget to subscribe for the next video with the Puppet Master. Until next time, thanks for watching.